think behind it we all affects the students in the school in a positive manner simply because we're teaching the students how to drive before they go out there with their parents. And we know how most of their parents drive, so we need to get some good habits in them before they drive with their parents. Um, I think we have a little bit of um, motivation for the students to go through and do well in the classroom as well as pass their permit exam and then do well in the simulator so they can go behind the wheel. So hopefully it's making better students out of them also. And obviously we are creating a, very, a much safer community in and around the school area where the students drive, but also in the township. Uh, we've done survey after survey six years in a row now, and each survey shows that our accident rate in Hamilton Township schools is less than 12%. In Nottingham, it's at 9% and even less at times. And nationwide, the accident rate for teenagers driving the first year is 33%, which is moving on its way up to 50%. So it's creating a safer environment and hopefully a more motivated student to do well in their driver's ed class as well as similar to behind the wheel. Yes, every day I get behind the wheel of the car, I realize the dangers that we're, we're taking on because one of the most dangerous things that everybody does every day is drive. And to have a 16-year-old inexperienced driver in a car takes a tremendous amount of attention and maybe a little bit of stress and maybe sometimes I may raise my voice just a little bit possibly um, but you know that's it's for the most part once it's it's nice to see that they're improving as they drive each day so it does it is stressful and it is a possibility of crashing but the good thing is that their two eyes are on the road and my two eyes so we've got four eyes on the road at the same time so that helps how long has the school provided this program since its existence in 1982, Nottingham has had it. Um, I believe it started in Steiner originally in Hamilton West in 1967, I believe is the year. How does this program benefit you personally? As it benefit me personally, I think I'm a better driver personally from teaching the program every day. Uh, it enables me to come to work and enjoy what I'm doing. I really enjoy being in the simulator. I love the autonomy that's in the simulator and behind a wheel car. Um, I'd like to see the improvement of the students from the beginning of this 14-day block and simulator to the end, as well as in the beginning of the nine-day simulator block to the last day, and behind a wheel, rather, I should say. So it's mo it keeps me motivated every day, and it keeps me on my toes, and I know that whether it's the first class of the day or my cla last class of the day, when I get in front of the room and I'm teaching, I know what I'm teaching is extremely important and I have to give each student every ounce of energy that I have because I can't sell them short because I feel what I'm teaching is so important to their safety. If you could pick any other job in the school, what would you do? I would want to be Mr. Kleck if I could choose any other job in the school. It would be just not to have his job because he does so much and you have to be so smart to do it, but I would just like to be Mr. Kleck. And if I had a choice to any other job, I can't think of anything else I'd like to do while I'm in school here. I just, I, I am motivated to do what I do every day. I like, my job involves teaching and it has a little bit of administrative aspect to it and then the coordinator because I get all the permits together and I schedule the students. So I enjoy that part of the administrative aspect of my job as well as the teaching. So it keeps me young and fresh. And because my classes turn over so quickly, if I get a bad group of 14 students or four, for 14 days, I can look forward to the end of what they're saying. Okay, I'll be done with them in 14 days so I can get through it. On the other end, if I get a good group, it's sad to see them go. But I would not want anybody else's job. I enjoy what I'm doing. Everybody else has a harder job than me and not as hard as me. So, you know, I'm thankful for where I'm at. If you ever hear a rumor about a student that you taught got into a car accident, or something. How does that make you feel? Well, if it's a rumor, it's not good, but if it's the truth, if I hear a story about a student feeling, being in a car accident, then I'm upset. I like to find out why. If it was their fault, could they have prevented it? Like a lot of students say, um, if I hear a rumor or story that they're in an accident, that I want to find out the truth. Was it your fault? Well, could you have prevented it? We've taught you 50, we've taught you golden rule, we've talked about following distances. Maybe it wasn't your fault, but is there something that I taught you that you could have learned that could have passed that information on to someone else and let them know about it? And 
The one thing I don't want to hear, I, that we've had a couple serious accidents, and fortunately we had nothing that's been life taking. So I, I'm thankful for that every day. There's a lot of pressure on my shoulders to make sure that who I put in the wheel, behind the wheel of the car, has at least passed my fitness test, and that's why I'm as crazy as I am. Because no one else bears the burden that I bear with scheduling something.